What's up, y'all? It's Marlon, man. And look, y'all, I'm sitting here eating my peach cobbling, man, listening to the Boxing Voice interview with uh, Bob Earl. And uh, I just find so many things crazy, man, about this situation with Bob Earl, top rank, ESPN, and top and uh, Terrence Crawford. I just find this situation so weird, and I'm not finna sit here and, and talk crazy about Terrence Crawford, no shit like that, but after listening to Bob Earl interview with the Boston Voice, man, I come up with, I came up with the assumption, which I probably named the video also, that Bob Earl is holding Terrence Crawford hostage, bro, and, and, um, I feel like they holding Terrence Crawford hostage because during one of the parts in that interview, y'all probably got to watch it if y'all uh, ain't see it already, but um, Bob Earn was like that Terrence Crawford contract is extended to maybe, to probably to Terrence Crawford retire. Basically saying that Terrence Crawford is going to be with top rank. And ESPN until he retires. But the crazy part about it is Bob Earl hates promoting Terrence Crawford, man. He hates promoting Terrence Crawford. He don't know how to promote Terrence Crawford. And their relationship is like everybody seen this type of relationship or or know somebody who in a relationship like this or Seen a movie about it or what or whatever the fuck. Basically, you got a bitter dude, right? And he with this girl. But he don't really want the girl. But the thing is, he's still with the girl because he don't want nobody else with the girl. And this is what type of situation. This is with Bob Earl and Terrence Crawford. Bob Earl. Don't want to fucking promote Terrence Crawford, but he don't want Al Heyman to get Terrence Crawford because he know what Al Heyman and the PBC can do with Terrence Crawford. It's some weird shit, man. It's some weird shit, man. And I feel like they holding this dude hostage. And I think Terrence Crawford is just playing it a certain way because this is how I feel. A wise man, uh, you know what I'm saying? A wise man can play a fool, but a fool can't play wise. And I feel like Terrence Crawford, I don't think he this stupid. I think he just playing a fool, you know what I'm saying? I think he just playing a fool. He know he in a whole bunch of bullshit. He got himself in some shit that he can't get out of. Or it's hard to get out of. But I know he real tight with Jay Prince. And we know that Floyd Mayweather was in a similar situation with Bob Earl a long time ago. And if y'all didn't hear the stories about how Jay Prince helped Mayweather get out of his deal with Bob Earl in top rank, I think they need to revisit some of those tactics, bro. To get this dude the fuck up out of there. Like, for real. Because it's, it's starting to get out of hand. They ain't been... They also... Charles Tennis, he also brought up the point that... He well, he read from somebody on his Patreon about... Somebody said that they ain't been seeing no promotion. And Bob Aaron was saying, well, it's December 14th. The fight is December 14th. You ain't going to see no promotion. Now, bro, the fight is two weeks away. We should have been seeing shit about this fight. Been seeing this shit. If you know that another... If you really want what's best for a fighter and you know that another company can do much better with them, why not? And you know you don't want to promote them, why not just release them, man? You know why? Because it's bigger than that. The the motherfucking shit that I just used, the analogy that I just used earlier, 
about a nigga don't want don't want the girl, but he don't want nobody else to have her, so he continue to fuck up her life. That's what type of shit Bob Earl is on, man. He need to release this dude, man. Let this dude, set this dude free, bro. Because you can't do nothing with him. You complaining about his numbers all the time. You hate promoting him. You just don't never have the same energy. There's always word energy when y'all around each other. It just look word. It's different from the energy that you got with Tyson Fury. And, and um, Nomachenko, you happy as a motherfucker at all their events. He happy. But when he promoting Terrence Crawford, it's word energy. You know what I'm saying? I can just see the energy. I ain't even got to be there to feel it. I'm looking at the screen. I see the energy. He don't want to do it. So why not release this dude, man? Cause he don't want to see nobody else. You know what I'm saying? This, he acting like a real slave master right now. Like for real, man. That's what type of shit him and Eddie Hearn on. Eddie Hearn on the same shit with Anthony Joshua. Similar shit, not the same exact, but similar. That's for another video. But I just wanted to bring that up, man. That's that. I'm out.